Welcome back to the channel guys, thank you so much for joining me here and clicking on this video. We're going to be diving into the story of 3 Eye Atlas. Now that Kin in K25, that alien creature story on TikTok, has reached its conclusion and it turned out he was faking it the whole time, we're going to be switching to 3 Eye Atlas. I think this is the perfect story for us to be talking about here on the channel. We have this mysterious oddly uh, shaped comet from outside of the solar system making its way through and some people are speculating because it's acting very weirdly its trajectory seems uh, unusual for a normal comet people are speculating it could be alien technology and I mean this is creepy it's weird it's otherworldly so uh, let's jump into it let's break it down and let's see what the latest information regarding 3 eye atlas is and uh, basically just see what's going on with it. So I think the best place to start is right at the beginning with the basics. So for those of you who are watching who may not know what this story is about, we can kind of get the basics down and we're all on the same page here. So Comet 3i Atlas is the third known object from outside our solar system to be discovered passing through our celestial neighborhood. Astronomers have categorized this object as interstellar because of the hyperbolic shape of its orbital path. Uh, it does not follow a closed orbital path about the sun, uh, where the orbit of 3 i Atlas is traced into the past, the comet clearly originates from outside our solar system. So we have had two other comets that have done the same thing, but this one is very, very mysterious because of its trajectory. It seems to be a planned trajectory where it's passing uh, past all the major planets here, and it seems to be kind of visiting each of the planets in close proximity. You can see there as it's going towards Jupiter as well, but it's... It, it goes past Mars, it goes past Mercury, it goes past Venus. Um, it's on the other side of the Sun, and then the Earth is on the opposite side of the Sun, so we can't trace it properly, which is, again, pretty creepy. And then it's heading towards Jupiter there as well. So it looks like a planned trajectory that some sort of civilization would plan this out to visit the different planets and maybe capture photos or capture um, information about different planets within the solar system. So you can see why people, um, you know, put their tinfoil conspiracy hat on here and could say that this is some sort of alien technology, which is kind of creepy. So with those basics down, with this being an interstellar comet and having kind of an unusual trajectory here throughout the solar system, visiting uh, the planets here, let's start moving on to some X posts and start talking about some of the most up-to-date information and see what's going on with 3 Eye Atlas. So up first comes to us from Arctic, and basically 3 Eye Atlas has just passed, uh, passed Mars and uh, it looks like they managed to capture a picture of 3 uh, Eye Atlas. So let's dive into this. So, um, here is 3i Atlas, uh, the GIF directly from the European Space Agency's website titled ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter uh, Observes Comet 3i Atlas. So, uh, if you zoom in, at least uh, to a regular guy like me, it seems clear as day that you can see individual orbs rotating around some kind of energy source. How crazy does that sound? It seems that you can see individual orbs rotating around some kind of energy source. Um, to assist with illustrating this incredible capture, also attached, you will find that I've taken the original GIF and strictly only enlarged the capture from the GIF provided by the European Space Agency's website. Careful not to change any aspect ratio uh, so as not to morph or warp the capture. I also enlarged the GIF uh, to center 3 eye Atlas onto the frame and kept the object center frame uh, while, not taking, uh, while taking care not to modify the image in any sort of way. I've also attached two screenshots from the blown up video uh, to show the light sources as to why I hypothesized that there are individual objects rotating around some kind of energy source. It's not a prank, it's not misinformation, this image isn't fake. Okay, let's check out these uh, these uh, GIFs in uh, picture here. So that's 3 Eye Atlas there, um, moving across the night sky. Uh, it looks like a little white dot and you can see it just kind of moving along. And it's got this kind of um, almost kind of like little tail kind of following behind it. It looks like kind of like gas or water coming off of it, um, which is pretty cool. Let's move forward. So again, it's just like a, a, a white dot with this kind of gas cloud, uh, the gas cloud around it. This guy says um, that it looks like individual orbs rotating around some kind of energy source. I'm not sure that I can see that from these images here. You can see it there a little bit. So you've got like uh, one dot there, one dot there, one dot there, and one orb there. And then in the middle, this could be the energy source and they could be sort of rotating around it. I can kind of see what he's talking about there. Yeah, you can see it there. Wow, that's really creepy. If that is in fact what we're seeing, that that is really bizarre. 
I don't think it is though. I think it's the sensor of the camera just picking up the light and the light is kind of, as the light is kind of shifting, I think the pixels are kind of turning on and off and it's making it look like there's orbs rotating around. I could be wrong. I'm not a camera expert by any means, but I just think it's like as the pixels are picking up individual bits of light, I think the the pixels are kind of turning on and off and it's making it look like uh, these orbs are rotating around. But he could be right here. I mean, jump into the comment section, guys, and let me know what you think about that. Does that look like orbs rotating around an energy source? What this guy is saying? Is that what this comet could be? I mean, that's pretty freaky stuff. Okay, let's move on to this. So, from UFO Mania, um, European Space Agency embargoed 3i Atlas um, spectroscopic data for the next 74 years. How insane is that? So, do they know something that the public doesn't? They've embargoed the spectros uh, spectroscopic data. So, that basically means that the public won't have ac access to the data for the next 74 years. Which is like, why would they do that if there's if there's nothing if there's nothing crazy or nothing weird going on here? Why would they um, embargo this data? Uh, in a surprising move, while most sensor data collected on 3i Atlas has been embargoed by uh, the ESA until uh, the 3rd of April 2026, ESA has listed spectroscopic data as unavailable until the 1st of January 2099. The Planetary Science Archive lists a total of 488. 3i Atlas raw sensor data files. Uh, while embargoes are not unusual to allow the scientific community to access the data and publish their findings, yeah, I mean, that's absolutely normal that they would embargo the data for a certain period of time um, just so they can kind of look at the data um, without public interference and kind of make their findings and kind of work through the scientific method, all that kind of stuff. But to embargo it until 2099, um, that's really unusual and really bizarre. A 74-year-long embargo is pretty much unprecedented. So, uh, spectroscopic data from 3i Atlas can reveal unexpected chemical signatures like unusual isotopes, rare minerals, or even biosignatures that uh, might spark speculation. Yeah, I mean, looking at the isotopes, you can kind of um, look at the materials, what this comet's made up of, and basically, based on the based on the isotopes, that can give you a massive indication as to whether this thing is not natural, whether it's built. Um, whether it's like a purpose-built object, depending on the kind of the materials that it's made up of. A 74-year embargo screams deliberate concealment. Absolutely. I mean, why on earth would you need to embargo something for 74 years? Uh, maybe to control narratives, protect national interest, or delay public reaction to something groundbreaking. Um, ESA has got a pattern of long-term holds, for instance. Their long-term data uh, preservation scheme lacks some uh, EO space data indefinitely to keep it uh, uh, unusable forever. Uh, backed by common guidelines across missions, they've got cases tied to security, like shielding against cyber attacks on sensitive archives, or harmonizing access for climate monitoring without uh, rushing raw stuff out. Bizarrely, transparency is not their strong suit. ESA is uh, legally immune to uh, freedom of information laws, so they can sit on bombshells without explaining. Yeah, I mean, that's another major factor there as well. The fact that they can embargo this data for 74 years and no one can do a freedom of information act so there's no way that any member of the public can get access to this but why would you embargo something for 74 years i mean that's so bizarre why why anyone would do that why uh why the um european space agency again draw your own conclusions from this guys jump in the comment section let me know what you think about that okay up next from uh red collie surprise surprise once it goes behind the sun we're talking about free eye atlas it's Basically, its trajectory is so much that it's going to be on the opposite side of the sun to us. So it's going to be uh, basically covered by the sun, which is something smart that a civilization would do. They would, um, their approach towards Earth, they would go on the opposite side of the sun so that we can't monitor what they're doing. And if they was to release like mini probes to come to the Earth, or if they was to do something with their ship, they're on the opposite side of the sun and we can't tell where they are or what they're doing. So again, it kind of screams that there's some sort of purposeful purposeful uh, sort of direction to what's going on. Uh, they have the option, uh, surprise, surprise, once it goes behind the sun, they have the option to detach and reach Earth with practically no fuel expenditure in three months. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It screams of, um, you know, a purposeful design, like someone's planned this out. It's not something that a natural comet would do. So again, it's a little piece of evidence that's adding onto the pile where people are putting their tinfoil hats on and kind of speculating that this could be uh, artificial. Anyway, let's check out this. So uh, telescopes here on Earth are picking up other objects flying alongside it. Um, let me just click this post. 
So, from Skywatch Signal, telescopes here on Earth are picking up other objects flying alongside it. So there's other objects as well. Um, when asked if that's accurate, um, Avi responds by saying, um, oh, we can check out the clip instead um, of reading it. We did get one report that as 3i Atlas gets closer now to the sun, uh, telescopes here on Earth are picking up other objects flying alongside it. Is that accurate? How terrifying is that? If this thing is in fact alien technology, then now picking up extra objects flying alongside it. I mean, what the heck is going on here? That is absolutely terrifying. If that turns out to be alien tech. Accurate. Well, there are always objects. The question is whether we see unusual activity. And in fact, I tasked my research team at the Galileo project to monitor the sky for any unusual activity because it's possible that if it's a uh, alien probe uh, that in fact it would release uh, some mini probes that will visit the planet yeah which, you know we should not assume anything it's a blind date and we should watch the other side you know just in case there is a serial killer there did he just say in case there's a serial killer there is that literally how he ended that interview but yeah, I mean, so that's the thing. It, it's going to fly to the other side of the of the sun and it could release a bunch of mini probes to go and visit different planets. I mean, that's something that any kind of intelligent technological uh, civilization would do. But uh, this story just gets weirder and weirder the more we kind of look into it. So that's what they're saying there, that there's other objects flying alongside it now, which is all the more scary, all the more creepy. <laughs> and um, I'm kind of crossing my fingers. I'm hoping this isn't um, alien tech because if it is, the ramifications of this are just absolutely ginormous. Okay, let's keep going here. So, uh, from Astronomy Vibes, uh, 3i Atlas, break apart or deploy. In 19 days, uh, we'll learn whether this interstellar visitor dies like a comet or awakens like a machine. Um, Avi Loeb, the guy who was just in that interview, he's like a professor. Um, he posted a century-defining question. Will 3i Atlas shatter like a comet or, de or activate like a machine? Um... Perillion uh, is in 19 days. The object will pass within 203 million kilometers of the sun, where typical comets often fragment under intense heat and gravity. Okay, so far, uh, the European Space Agency's Mars orbiters haven't detected conf uh, confirmed fragments, only faint noise. If 3i Atlas is natural, we may soon see uh, volatile ices uh, volatile ice ices boiling off, jets forming, and possibly a breakup as solar stress rips it apart. Yeah, I mean, so if we get to the point where this thing approaches the sun within distance where it should break up, but if it doesn't break up and it's within that distance of the sun, then that's another piece of evidence on the pile that this thing is not natural if it doesn't break up where most comets should be breaking up. And um, that would be, again, um, pretty uh, strange. So, but if it's artificial, the breakup could be deployment, a mothership releasing probes like dandel uh, dandelion seeds, as uh, Avi Loeb's interstellar gardener idea suggests. I mean, that's what we would do, wouldn't it? If we, if we were going to go to a, a distant, uh, a distant, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If we were going to go to a, um, a, a distant place to visit planets, a distant solar system to visit planets, we would send um, an unmanned space probe and then we would release smaller probes to visit those planets. I mean, that's what we would do. And that's what most intelligent civilizations would do. So it makes sense. Uh, the Galileo project is monitoring for signs of coordination or anomalies. After October 29th, uh, the European Space Agency's JUICE and ground-based telescopes will take over. Comet or craft were about to witness the most detailed look at an interstellar visit, uh, visitor in history. So, yeah, like I said, uh, once it gets within a certain range and it should be breaking up um, under the stress of being close to the sun, if it doesn't, then, uh, you know, that's a whole nother... That's a whole nother kind of conversation there that we need to have if it doesn't break up under the stress of the sun. Okay, we've got a couple more posts to get to here. So there are now 17 comets while 3i Atlas makes its passage in the solar system above average. Interestingly, they seem to concentrate and then get more distant when 3i Atlas goes away. Uh, this simulation goes until June 2026. I wonder if there's any connection with these and 3i Atlas's visit. So yeah, this is really crazy. I saw this this morning, right? So, um, 3i Atlas is there, guys. So bear in mind, uh, make sure you watch here, 3i Atlas, where my mouse cursor is. So, let's play this footage. I'm just going to mute it quickly. So, as we follow 3i Atlas, you can see this clump here of all these different comets, right? You've got all the different names and these kind of white little cones. These are comets. 3i Atlas is there. And as 3i Atlas begins to move away, 
you'll notice all of these comets begin to disperse. As 3i Atlas keeps making its way past our solar system, all of the comets then begin to disperse, which is really, really kind of odd. It's kind of strange that that happens. So let's just go back. As 3i Atlas is there, they kind of converge in the middle towards 3i Atlas. And uh, as 3i Atlas begins making its way out of the solar system, um, they all begin to disperse. I mean, is 3i Atlas having an effect on these comets? Are these comets natural? Are they kind of drawn to 3i Atlas? And then as it leaves, they disperse? I mean, what is going on there? That That is pretty strange behavior for these comets. Um, either that or it's a massive coincidence that they're clumped together and then as 3i Atlas leaves, they kind of then begin to disperse. I mean, what is the reason for that? Very, very strange. Okay, um, and then let's move on to this. Uh, black hole, 3i Atlas, 33 billion tons of nickel, no iron, super flat and glowing at the base, is shredding plasma, forming a backward tail and somehow lighting itself from the front. Whatever this is, it's not ordinary. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's so much evidence here to, to kind of lend towards the, uh, the theory that this is not a natural um, comet, that there's something weird and bizarre going on here. It's breaking so much ground in terms of science that, you know, that scientists haven't seen before. It's very strange, very odd, acting weirdly. And uh, again, another, um, another pile of evidence, uh, another, another bit of evidence on that pile, adding to the theory that this may not be a natural phenomenon going on here. I think we've got one more post here that we can check out. Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll save this. We'll save this for the next video that we do. Otherwise, this one will go too long. So yeah, I just let's go back to uh, go back to looking at this. So guys, that's kind of the video for now. Um, we will dive into this in future updates. If you guys like this video, um, make sure you let me know if you want to see more of uh, the story of Three Eye Atlas. Um, I would love to know what you guys think. So jump into the comment section. Let me know if you want to see more of this story continued on the channel. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Consider becoming a subscriber of the channel to help support the content and uh, everything that I do here I would really appreciate that and most importantly hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos but like I say jump into the comment section and do let me know if you want to see more of this content as we continue on uh, on the channel I would love to hear your feedback as to whether to make more of this content or not and uh, you know at the end of the day you're the subscribers you're the ones that uh, kind of dictate the content uh, that comes onto the channel here. But with all that down, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, leave your comments as to what you think this could be. Can't wait to hear your feedback and uh, can't wait to talk about it with you guys in the comment section. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next video.